Welcome to the Thunder and Lightning Show. Hey guys, welcome to another show, episode 13. 14. 14. 14. Of the Thunder and Lightning Show. Blah. Hey, on this one, guys, we got Grapevine royalty here, a legend, <laughs> a legend. Last time Grapevine High School won a state championship, number deuce was in the backfield, Damon Williams. He's now a PE teacher for HEBISD. And uh, I wanted to bring him on the show because I've had the pleasure this, this fall of working with some of his kids, and I've known Damon forever. Uh, growing up in Grapevine College, I've known him forever. And, He's kind of had the same, uh, same mentality I have, and I know with his PE kids, he actually does PE different. It's not red light, green light. It's not playing, what, what do we used to do in PE? Like beanbag stuff, like oh, just yeah. games Dodge and stuff. Ball, yeah. Types of games. He got them kids working. Um, and now we still use beanbags. <laughs> <laughs> but I know you focus, you, you pivot, you focus a lot on physical fitness and actually teaching them how to work out and, and busting them up pretty good. Um, I've had some of your kids come in here and like, well, Mr. Williams, he, he makes us do that, blah, blah, blah. We've done this before. And uh, it's good to see. It makes it easier for, you know, whenever I get them. Um, Damon Williams, legendary running back for the Mustangs. Welcome to the show. Thanks, thanks for coming out, man. Appreciate you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> I, uh, appreci I appreciate you coming out. So what, you know, with PE and, and what you do, um, what age groups do you have? Um, I teach kindergarten through sixth grade. Mm -hmm. So I have them from what, kinder starts at five age five, <laughs> all the way up to the preteens to before they start the preteens. How long have you been, how long have you been a teacher? I've been, this will be the start of my seventh year teaching. Seventh year. So you've had kids I've been, go. I've been 10 years in. Yeah, yeah, you were substitute. Substitute teaching, yeah. if you want to count all that, 10 years in. Yeah. Yeah. So I've it, done a little bit of it all. I started in the ISS room at a junior <laughs> high school I remember. from PE assistant to a PE teacher now. And now I'm doing what I love and I love working with the kids. And this this is my give back to the kids. I love it, man. I love it. I mean, I know you you're you also ref basketball and you've been doing do. that. Been doing that forever. So you've been in, I mean, the physical fitness is, is your thing. Absolutely, it's a part of my life. I also uh, like to do a couple cardio boxing classes yeah. also too. You try to stay on top of these young whippersnappers, <laughs> you know, um, and just, you know, keep, keep always stay moving. You gotta move throughout life. You don't wanna stay still. You're trying to move up, not backwards yeah. always. Yeah. And teaching them early, I mean, kind of teaching them early the, the fun of fitness and from the kids that so you've had kids now that have been with you since kindergarten to Correct. sixth grade what what's the difference between the kids that you had that you've had longevity with that have been a part of your PE program versus the kids who had started a little bit later I'd say the kids that started later the growth of them was a little bit slower than the kindergartner kids my kindergartner kids coming in they don't know anything about exercise. They don't experience exercise. So that first day, that first week that they actually experience it, when we start doing our animal movements, running around the track, frog jumps, crab, crab walks, bear crawl, stuff like that. Yeah. And then they go through it. But that, of course, the natural response of everybody wants water as soon as they get tired. But we have to break that. And once they get through it and they get to their water break and they get sit there for a second and start feeling their body and it feel the experience of their heart beating, what it feels like to be tired and things of that nature. It's a new experience for them. So I tell them, I have to explain to them that it's totally normal what you're feeling this is what you've just gone through this is what you've just done this is how you're going to feel when you do these kind of things but it's also going to benefit you outside of this when you're not even doing these things yeah. versus when you're doing them so I got my kindergartners they learn from kindergartner then I come I got kids that I come in there in third grade they don't so much, maybe the last PE teacher didn't push them with the exercise so much, but in my class, it's not 45 minutes a game. We're required in my class, we do 15, 
to roughly 18 minutes of physical activity. I call it four rounds of exercise and I put them through a number of exercises. So that third grader, he might say, coach tries to kill us. You know, <laughs> parent, I get calls from parents. I tell them, come on up, join the PE class, come check it out and watch. Had parents come up there, watch, they tell me, they watch it, they say, He's not doing anything wrong at all. He's just <laughs> pushing them hard, you know? Yeah. And, and that's basically it. And they tell me thank you, and they appreciate it at the end of the day. I mean, that's what's important is, is you know, kids from the ages of, you know, five to eight, they learn, they learn those, those movement patterns. Absolutely. Right? And they get instilled. And, you know, the earlier you teach them, the more they're going to just carry that throughout life. It becomes life. a normalcy. And that's kind of what we need to get back to and what I, we kind of preach all the time. I mean, people are always looking at us like, you guys got five-year-olds, six-year-olds training up there? I'm like, yeah. Nothing wrong with it. Yeah, um, because I want to teach them proper movement patterns. And that's where that stuff sits in and that's where that stuff is established. And you'll see the kids who have been taught proper movement patterns, they're going to be more athletic. Absolutely. And they're going to be able to acquire new skills. And those are the kids that are playing whenever they're in high school and You're still right. and still sticking to it. Um, and even like you were saying, even the kids that are never going to play sports or never going to do anything, the, f the fact that they're exposed to physical fitness at that early age and know what it feels like, know what it is, they're more likely to, you know, work out in the gym, stay in a gym, mm -hmm. or, or stay physically active, even if they're not in sports. It becomes a part of their lifestyle. Absolutely. Exactly. Or at least they know how to do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or they know they're not, they, scared, of it. They're not scared of it. They know when their heart beating, now oh, I can't do that anymore. That's okay. They're comfortable being uncomfortable. Right. You right. know what I mean? Um, so, Damon, what kind of got you into, besides being a state champion for the Great Vibe Mustangs? 98. <laughs> Old school. Old school. <laughs> Had to give it to him. Um, what, kind of, what kind of got you, got you started in fitness and wanting to kind of give back to the kids? I would say I played sports growing up, so I think it's something that was kind of natural for me to stay involved in sports. And uh, my initial getting, trying to get into sports, I wanted to be a coach. Well, I ended up not coaching, I officiated, and I ended up coaching kids, but not necessarily for sports, but for a lifestyle, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much how I got into it, and that's where I'm at now with it. And it's just a part of my life on a daily basis. Hey, I know, I know the kids are getting, getting what they need with you and, and definitely with you being a PE teacher. And, and I love it. I love to see it. I'm, I, know, I know them kids are getting worked over. over Absolutely. There. We have fun with it. And you got to have fun with it. You know, yeah. we, sometimes we don't even do uh, actual exercises. We'll cut the music on and dance. You can, there's all kinds of ways being you active, can get. Right? Absolutely. So you got to explore your avenues. You can't always just stick to one thing. Every certain stuff doesn't work for everybody, you know. Guys, this is going to be a short one. My man, Damon Williams, number two grapevine, DB. high school finest, DB running back. What didn't you do out there? I don't know. Yeah, he's a champion. Anyway, <laughs> he would not have locked me down. Oh. He didn't. You better, tell him. you better tell him. You better Stop tell him. That. You better tell him. Stop that, man. You better man. tell him something. Y'all ain't, ain't never beat us, though. Ooh. Episode 14. <laughs> <laughs> Love, peace, and happiness. <laughs>
sports performance, just about athletes, that anybody can work out here, the family can work out here. Um, can you kind of go into that a little bit, Bailey, why you decided to keep working out here and how it's benefited you whenever you actually used to work out and you didn't have senioritis? Well, coming here for volleyball, I didn't know the proper way of lifting or just working out in general. Period. Period. Because we didn't have the right coaches to teach us how to work out right and not injure ourselves. So whenever we're coming to Elite, it was a lot harder because you're working out a different way, the right way, which makes it hard at first, but then once you get used to it, it's like, wow, this is a lot easier. It's Fisher. That's Fisher. what we call it. That's good. Fisher. That's good. Well, Bailey, you brought your whole family in and your whole family's been a part of this. And what I kind of what we did before, and we'll probably splice it in somewhere, is just kind of show all the different aspects of fitness and working out. Um, because a lot of people get caught up with us just doing, I think we just work athletes, right? Just strength performance and just working athletes. And it's Elite Fitness headquarters for a reason because- Say five to 75 on purpose. Um, because we're able to train your parents, your brother, um, and um, how have you seen it kind of help your whole family just being a part of I think fitness? it's kind of helped my family grow more. Like after they work out at Elite, they're like, oh my gosh, that workout was hard, but you know, I feel good, I feel motivated, I feel ready to go back again. That's good kind of brought us motivated. all closer. Yes, and it's also kept them in shape and kept them working out and not just staying at home, doing nothing and working. Well, what do you do now? Nothing. I do school and I work out. <laughs> when was the last time you worked out besides today, Bailey? I had to, I had to, I had to bribe her like, hey, we're gonna do a camera and do a photo shoot. She, All she heard was she sprints. Photo shoot. She sprints and boom. up here. All she heard was photo shoot. But you know, I do want to talk about that because you know, that's one of the cool things I think we've been able to do is uh, let you kids do different things than just work out. You know, like you you model now and you do some different things. And besides, this people think we're just playing around or doing something. This is this is good. Um, it's a good opportunity for you to learn and do different stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Get in front of the camera and feel comfortable in front of the camera um, and do different stuff, right? I mean, we do some pretty cool different stuff and uh, that's kind of what I want to do for the community is just help them do great opportunity, create opportunity yeah. and get comfortable doing other things. So it's way more than just working out and yeah. being a fitness, fitness, whatever. Like we actually, you guys help me grow this business and help me build this business and do commercials and do whatever we do it in-house um, yeah kind of what's what's some of the biggest thing that you've gotten from elite fitness do you think I think it's helped at least me and a lot of other girls gain self-confidence with all of the photo shoots and just being in front of the camera and then also working out and making you feel good about yourself you're not just like oh come on that was bad like you're motivating us to make us feel good She's kind of trained up, isn't she? Oh, you know, she's, she's ready. She's, she's ready for these times. answers. <laughs> Done a good job. Well, Bailey, what would you say to anybody why they should come to Elite Fitness? I think people should come to Elite Fitness because it's not just a workout place. It's a family. We all are friends here. No one's mean to each other, and it's just I mean a to community. Everybody. Yeah, most mean to everyone. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Keep going. No, I, I stopped your flow. Keep going. You're doing. It's such just a, great a job. community, and I think everyone deserves to have a family and just a good place to come and feel safe after a long day of school and you just want to like let out everything and you're you can let out everything by working out boom Bailey, you did such a good job so thank you. you you did better at this than you did the working out section i had a lot more critiques during that yeah i know i know it's been a while no, anyways guys <laughs> that's kind of the biggest thing that we we practice and we preach is just making a home for everybody and trying to make everybody feel comfortable and feel welcome and be with my crazy adventure, our crazy adventure, whatever we dream up. Um, we do more than just athletes. We do more than just our master's class. We do more than just, um, it's more than just working out. I mean, we do work out, we do train athletes. We do think we're the best at everything fitness. Um, we, we do boot camps, we do strength and conditioning. We do uh, GPP, we do it all. And I think we're really talented and, and the best at doing it all. Um, like I said, it's not about where you start because- We own the finish. And you know, you just gotta get started and we'll hold your hand. Um, I kind of want to dispel all the things of, they're too hardcore for us or they do too much. It's, we, we take you where you're at and wherever you're at, we go from there. And take you where you want to go. And that's it. Um, and you kind of can do your own thing. Um, 
If you're uncomfortable, it's our job to get you comfortable. Yeah. And uh, we'll teach you whatever we can. Uh, we've done it for Bailey and her whole family, from mm -hmm. you know kids that are ages six to 75, we do it for everybody. And that's what we do. Uh, we try to get everybody involved in whatever we do. We try to have a good time. Uh, like my friend Damon said, he's, he's teaching these kids how to be physically active, even the ones that aren't gonna do sports. Um, and we kind of just carry that whole thing on. The kids that come out of sports and aren't doing sports anymore, we give them a place to fall, still stay physically active. Um, and the kids who are gonna go serious and go play, go play college sports, we treat everybody the same. Um, the endeavor is to be more physically active and your best self, and that's what we try to do. So, episode 14, double feature. We're getting pretty good at this, man. Hey, practice makes perfect. Ooh, what do you think about that? I agree. Thunder and, light, <laughs> thunder and lightning show. See you guys next time. Love, peace, and happiness.